Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Brap Effects. Today we have a 1985 Honda XR 350R. Bike is an absolute beast. Very easy to kick. Sometimes it kicks back on you because the compression is pretty strong, but it does have an automatic decompression system, which moves when you kick it. So it uh, makes it a little bit easier to start up. And that's really nice to have. And this is a 350R. Not to be confused with the XL 350R, that's a street bike. This is an Enduro plastic tank, not a metal tank. It does not have turn signals and it does not have um, normal headlights. So this bike is off-road use only. So it's strictly off-road use only and uh, has a ProLink suspension. And this is a uh, single carburetor. So it only has one carburetor. This is not the uh, dual carburetor model. In uh, 1985, they stopped it. In the XL 250R and the XLs 86 and 87, they all had the dual carburetor, but they stopped the dual carburetor on this, on this model. I think the XL 350R had the dual carburetor. I'm not sure. Maybe you guys might know, so you guys can chime in, you know? And uh, it's in really good shape. The seat's really nice. The original seat cover. Uh, original tank, original graphics here. They're a little bit, you know, a little bit worn, but nothing crazy. Still looks nice. This is a rider's bike. You can get on it and ride it. And not have to worry about, you know, oh, it's so mint that it's gonna get ruined. The bike is not mint condition. It's clean, but it's not mint. And the frame used to be red. Uh, that's the original, it should be red, but this is not original, this paint. So someone painted it. Uh, back in the 90s it looks like it was an old an old job a long time ago because uh, it's definitely not recent so that must have been done in the early 90s i guess someone didn't like the red frame they wanted it silver so uh it looks good silver but uh you know if you want it back to original you can take the motor off and and restore it you know what i mean but it's all there mostly um it does not have the stock exhaust it has a uh it has a super trap exhaust if you come around here so um so yeah so you can see uh that the the screws there that are there for the plate i think there's supposed to be a plate there if this is a super trap i'm not sure normally it's stamped and it'll say super trap right here but i don't see that so i can't tell you 100 percent if it, if this is a super trap but it does not look to be um uh it does not look to be stock because a stock pipe shouldn't look like that. It's like a stainless, it's like a stainless uh, slip-on of some sort. So I'm not really sure 100% to what extent that exhaust is. I have no idea. But the uh, bike runs pretty good for 1985. It seems like the uh, the throttle cable, um, when you make a right turn, it idles up high because the throttle cable pulls on the... Uh, right here it pulls i don't think it's routed right so that might have to be rerouted because when you turn the wheel to the right it it revs up a little bit so i think the throttle cable is uh grabbing when you turn a little bit but uh other than that it starts right up but um it's you can't you can't beat the uh the rf the rfvc engine it's a it's a great engine rfvc baby nice engine um tires aren't too bad it's got the factory uh all the factory lights on the back still says honda on there the bag's in good shape there's no major rips i don't think so i'm just doing a quick walk around on this bike uh yeah so you guys can take a look at it if you have any information on this bike please let me know chime in it's a really cool bike. I had quite a few XRs at XR250R. You can check out the other video on my YouTube channel. Uh, it was a 1992, I believe. But the 85 just looks really good. The colors are just phenomenal. But uh, I'll go ahead and uh, start it up for you guys.
sounds like a sounds like a lion. XR 350R, the legend. So you can see, you know, I'm pretty short, so uh, I can ride it. I can barely touch the ground, but the bike is an uh, absolute blast to ride. Um, it's not a bad bike, you know. It's 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 hard, they're hard to find anymore, and like I said, the uh, the frame rails underneath are in good shape. There's no, uh, there's no major dents on the frame rails. Uh, they're in really good shape, actually. Because normally these are really hammered really bad, and the long ones in the back are really, really good. So, uh, yeah, can't go wrong with the uh, 85. It's a beautiful bike, and uh, they just don't make them like this anymore. Uh, like I said, Ken Kaplan had one, but it was immaculate. It was, uh, what was it, original... It was all original, right? 100% original. So, uh, yeah, it was 100% uh, original. I think it sold for over $10,000. I don't remember, but um, this bike is not all original. So, uh, like I said, the frame was painted out at some point. I don't know when, but it's not the original. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions about this 1985 XR350R, please let me know. This bike is on consignment from a private LLC. I'm helping sell. So if you have any questions, let me know. I do not own these bikes.
Thank you.